Hey everyone, it's Natch here doing another review for games and how getting 100% by completing the trophy list can help your mental fitness. Please keep in mind everything here is just my opinion based on my own life experience. There are some professional studies out there that would suggest I'm on the right track. But for now, I'm here to just spread the word and help people look at gaming as more than just entertainment. So with that, let's jump right in. Today I'm going over It Takes Two, ITT for short, developed by Hazelight Studios, released in 2020. ITT is a mandatory two-player game, but an internet connection is not required to play. I had never heard of this game before and only played it because a friend still needed to complete it. I will say though, the trailers made it look like it would be a lot of fun. Having now completed it, I'll admit it was fun and I thought the graphics and gameplay were great, but I just didn't really care for the story. Uh, but without a doubt, Hazel Eye did a fantastic job and I give them kudos for that. Okay, so before we get into the fun stuff, some of you might be asking, is this appropriate for kids to play? In short, maybe, but let's take an organic look at it anyways. The ESRB rating for ITT is teen because of animated blood, comic mischief, fantasy violence, and language. I tend to agree with the ESRB that it's fine for teens, 13 and older, to play, but only because the context of the storyline isn't appropriate for anyone younger. Uh, without giving away the plot, any kid can be exposed to what is going on in the story. However, the way the story plays out, along with the ending, may unintentionally be more harmful to a child experiencing the same thing in real life and create more confusion and pain, especially when uh, the ending doesn't happen to them in, in their life. Also, there is a disturbing amount of detail an unnecessary fantasy violence, quote unquote, as the SRB would call it, and of course that too wouldn't really be appropriate for younger ages. Alright, so now you may be wondering just how long will this take to get 100%? Well, to be honest, a lot of that will depend on the skill set of the player for, or players. Uh, for me, I expected ITT would take us less than 21 hours to get 100%. Uh, we definitely came in well under that, so I can say without a doubt that it would reasonably take any pair of people at least 7 hours to complete. Uh, there are no cheats or glitches available that I'm aware of, and although there is no game difficulty, the game is strictly co-op, so there is no way to do the game on your own, and uh, even in the theory of playing it solo on two controllers, that would be extremely hard to do uh, certain sequences. The other factor to determine how long this will take to get 100% is looking at the trophy list difficulty itself. Even with guides and walkthroughs, which I always suggest using if you can, I'd say ITT's trophy list is very easy. And if you'd like to see those guides I used, uh, they will be in the video description. So, okay, so now the fun stuff. As you know, the whole point of my channel is to help educate and promote gaming for mental fitness. I truly believe you can improve so many mental abilities by earning 100% in a game rather than only playing it just for fun. For ITT, I'd say its trophy list is a mixed mental workout. And look, games like these are great because they're similar to a full body physical workout, but instead for your mind. Here, you can expect to build a combo of functions, mostly social intelligence and problem solving. The trophy that best highlights this is It Took Two, which requires you and your partner to complete the story. Yes, that's a catch-all, but trust me, it takes communication and a lot of problem solving to get through each chapter, and each chapter in itself has its own unique challenges. And again, it's the little details the developers paid attention to that really bring this game to life and make it enjoyable to play and have fun. And anytime you can improve your mental skills in that kind of environment is great. I also got to say that this is a perfect introductory game for those looking to get into gaming for mental fitness as well. And before we call it a wrap here, let's talk a little bit about improvements. When I think about trophies that would have reflected ITT and have been helpful for mental fitness, I immediately think of speedruns, time trials, and playing the mini games. Obviously, the developers meant for this game to be more relaxing and enjoyable, but throwing in chapter speedruns or time trials for certain portions of the game would have been exciting and doable in my opinion. Uh, same with the mini games, I'm not sure what the point of having a trophy for finding them but not playing them was. 
uh, but it seemed like a waste to not showcase all the creativity the game had to offer. So hopefully Hazelight just keeps that in mind for any future installments or new series. Okay, that's a wrap. Again, I wasn't a big fan of the story, but I definitely enjoyed playing ITT. I would highly recommend playing it if you're looking for a mixed mental workout where you can play with others. For me, uh, it takes to really help me build problem solving. And if you have questions about this game or mental fitness or just want to share your experience with ITT, feel free to leave a comment or message me. I will do my best to answer any questions in a reasonable time. All right, everyone, that's another review in the bag. If you want to watch me play live and even join in on my multiplayer games, follow me on Twitch. If you'd like to hear more about mental fitness, my game previews, and initial impressions, then go on over and follow my Instagram. If you'd like to help choose what games I should play next or guess how long my next game will take, you can do that on my Twitter. That's where I do my polls, so keep a look out there. Also, I do do monthly giveaways, so check out my YouTube for details on that if you'd like to participate. And finally, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.